Hey guys, welcome back to The Stuttering Gamer. I want to tell you a quick story about something interesting that happened to me recently. It involved participating in a world record attempt, as well as Star Wars. There's a lot to unpack, so I'll just get into it. Last week, there was an event held in Tokyo, specifically at Sunshine City in Ikebukuro. The world record specifically consisted of the most number of people simultaneously firing off confetti cannons. Now, I don't know the specifics of how this record attempt came to be tied into Star Wars. The previous attempt had nothing to do with Star Wars, and it was actually set by a group in Canada. The way it went down was, there was a poster outside of the Toys R Us at Sunshine City requesting volunteers. So I thought, this sounds like fun. I'm a big Star Wars fan, and I'm on vacation in Japan, and I've never participated in a world record of any kind ever in my life. This might be a once-in-a-lifetime chance, so absolutely I'm going to go to this. So I got there about an hour or so before the event was actually to take place. I lined up outside. I didn't film anything outside, but there was a lady with this big cardboard box, and she was handing out confetti cannons and these stormtrooper masks and some other promotional stuff. My ticket, I believe, was number 153, if I remember correctly. I didn't have to wait outside too long. Uh, they eventually directed us down to the basement where the actual event was taking place. Um, and there was already quite a few people that were there ahead of me. As you can see in the footage below, there was a lot of excitement and it was pretty packed down there. Partway through the event, this lady came on stage and she started speaking. She was speaking entirely in Japanese. I'm not sure exactly what she was talking about. Um, and then partway through her speech, this black gentleman joined her on stage. And I'm thinking in my excited fanboy mental state, I'm thinking, hmm, black guy at a Star Wars event and he's dressed like Han Solo. Holy shit, is that John Boyega? But to my disappointment, no, the man on stage was not John Boyega. It was another popular local actor by the name of Dante Carver. Dante Carver is an American dude who's been acting in Japan for a very long time, I think since 2005. He's well known in the country for these mobile phone TV ads that he's been in. He's the son of a Japanese family who the father also happens to be a dog. Yes, you heard that correctly. So the lady and fake John Boyega continued to talk. During this time, the basement was getting louder as more people were lining up behind me and there wasn't really much to do, but eventually we got to the five minute countdown and that's when things really started to get crazy. People started erupting in cheers and Darth Vader came out at this point and a couple of other stormtroopers and it was really exciting. You could feel the energy in the room. I was certainly happy to see Vader come out. Finally, we got to the last 10 seconds and this was the moment that I really wanted to capture on footage. Unfortunately, I underestimated that just how loud the sound of 200 confetti cannons going off in an enclosed space would be. The sound was absolutely deafening and also shocking too. I ended up fumbling my phone and I nearly dropped it. Fortunately, there is official video from Guinness of the actual moment when the confetti cannons went off. and. You can see it was just a wonderful celebration of fandom. People were cheering and laughing and it was a really wonderful experience. And I'm so happy I got to participate in this. So you must be wondering after all this excitement and cheering and celebration of fandom and Star Wars and all this wonderful stuff, we had to have beaten the 243 person previous record, right? No. No, we didn't. We got 250 participants. We missed it by four. As confirmed by Guinness's official Twitter feed, it was so disappointing 
to learn this. I didn't find out about it till the next day. Um, but the whole time in my head I was thinking, oh, we beat this, we got this, we got this. There's so many people here. There's no way we're gonna lose this. But no, unfortunately we didn't. Um, it's really disappointing that we didn't break the record, but I had an awesome time. Star Wars being one of my absolutely favorite things in the world. I saw it when I was a very young child, like seven or eight years old, and it made a profound impression on me. And it was just cool to participate in something like this. But yeah, it was a wonderful experience. I wish I could have shared this with you guys watching and other Star Wars fans. If they hadn't done it on a Friday night or maybe even on the weekend, like a Saturday, well, I think we easily would have crushed this record. But that's what happens when you do things during the week at midnight on a work day. You know, people got to get to work. And the trains don't operate much past midnight, so it would have been impossible for some people to get home without taking a taxi or driving. Anyway, with all that set aside, it was a really awesome experience, and I thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble on about my nerdy, Star Wars, geeky, Japanese experience. Um, please leave a comment and a like, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more eclectic types of content like this. Um, as well as reviews and previews and other stuff like that. There's no one theme to my channel. I do a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, I've been The Stuttering Gamer. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.